Welcome back, folks. I'm Kenjamin, and today you'll learn why Coromon is better than Pokemon. I've been a fan of Pokemon since the release of Pokemon Yellow in North America, with my all-time favorite region being Sinnoh. As a huge fan of the fourth generation, I'm super excited for the Diamond and Pearl remakes, but that's a discussion for another video. Without further ado, let's start the list. On August 2nd, 2021, Coromon announced the release of a milestone system. Reaching certain milestones in-game through battling trainers or even catching wild Coromon will net the player their own experience known as Battle Researcher Experience. The higher a player's level as a Battle Researcher, the better the promotion bonus is. These bonuses are similar to a battle pass, where a player will earn experience through tasks and be rewarded with items. In the demo, it looks like a player can receive held items like fruits, battle items like spinners, and items usable outside of battle like the potent scent. In Coromon, every Coromon has two shiny variations. There's the standard form, Potent Form, and Perfect Form. What makes Potent Hunting better than Shining Hunting in Pokemon is that Potent and Perfect Coromon appear at a higher rate than in Pokemon. When hunting for a Potent Coromon, the player has roughly a 3% chance of finding one in the wild, while having a 0.03% chance of finding a Perfect Coromon in the wild. Pokemon, however, has a 0.01% chance of finding a shiny Pokemon in the wild, which is 1 out of 8,192 encounters. There are ways to increase your chances of encountering potent and perfect Coromon, but that's a video for another time. In fact, you can watch this guide I have on potent and perfect Coromon at the top right hand corner. Traditional Pokemon games require players to trade for certain Pokemon that they may want. This requires an internet connection and finding players willing to trade with you. However, Coromon allows players to catch all Coromon in one playthrough. This is especially good news for gamers who play games offline. Of course, Coromon will feature online battling, but that's a discussion for another time as well. Since players can obtain all Coromon in a single playthrough, different team compositions can be experimented with. There's no telling what kind of teams can be made out there, but I'm going to try every single Coromon eventually. In Pokemon, moves are deleted and have to be relearned by a move tutor. However, Coromon is superior to Pokemon in that Coromon never forget the moves they learn. Realistically, that makes so much more sense than forgetting the moves that you use so much. Players can toggle their moves and choose the movesets they want to bring into battle. Gone are the days of having to remember where an NPC is just to have your companions remember the moves they lost due to short-term memory loss. For all the completionists out there, Coromon is packed with an enormous amount of side quests. If you play the demo, you can find at least 10 side quests throughout a single playthrough. In these side quests, you gain the opportunity to learn about the world of Velua and other Coromon. You'll always gain a reward at the end of each side quest. The more valuable rewards will be locked behind side quests that take longer to complete. The best part about the side quests is that each mission is recorded onto a logbook for record keeping. I think it would be interesting to see achievements for completing a number of side quests in the full release, but that may not be the biggest priority at the moment. Well folks, there we have it. These are 5 reasons why Coromon is better than Pokemon. I know I left out a few features like the potential flater and trait formator, but these unique mechanics are something that players really have to experience for themselves to see the true value of them. 
If you found this list interesting or have something to add to the conversation, feel free to leave a comment of your thoughts and further the discussion. Well, folks, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.